Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Katrina and today we will create the super cute um, cotton candy clouds uh, air balloon card. It could be a great project for baby shower invitation, congratulation, welcome baby and you can also use my technique I will show you in this tutorial to create um, over designs, for example, for adults, um, for somebody who like maybe plane or anything uh, related to the uh, sky, clouds and uh, cosmos. So this tutorial is a little bit longer than my usual tutorials and the reason is um, I add the um, tutorial for the, for the classic roses and I include this tutorial for flowers inside this card tutorial and also I will show you the bunch of samples I create as I have uh, a lot of technical difficulties to create this tutorial and I actually recorded it seven times so I have uh, seven samples I'm not sure I will show you all my samples in the video because some of them are um, quite the same but you will see the variation of samples for sure So today I use the air balloon uh, cling stamp set and dice, welcome baby uh, cling stamp set and dice and of course the classic rose uh, cling stamp set, dice and also the matching mold. Mm, I will create the rolls uh, with deluxe flower shaping paper. This is the special dedicated paper for flowers by Hartford Creation. And also I will show you uh, step by step how I create this beautiful background for a cotton candy clouds using Hartford Creation products. So I start with uh, creating the mask and to do that I will use the swirly border accent die. This is the last year release and I usually use the swirly elements to, you know, I use them with my flower composition. But when I actually get this dies to my hand I thought, wow, this looks like the clouds and I wish I have collection to create mm, uh, this cloudy uh, kind of uh, project and uh, when the Tender Moments collection was released I thought yeah this is the moment this is the time to use these dies and this idea so um, basically I used a slightly larger piece of the card um, my um, piece of the card measures five and a quarter by seven and a quarter and I use this uh, size of cards to create two masks in the same time and uh, of course uh, every single time you will create the mask you will have the different um, um, effect because uh, you have four these uh, dice and uh, you can uh, change the angle, uh, you can, uh, you know, mix and match them to create uh, the uh, clouds as you imagine them. So I have this positive and negative uh, part of my mask. Uh, positive side look like clouds and the negative mask look like teeth marks on the sandwich. <laughs> So um, yes, I used the card um, because I didn't have the um, mask paper, but if you have uh, the mask paper you can use it as well. I want to create very simple card, so I decide to use one shade of ink for everything, flowers and a background technique. And in this case, I use Archival Cobalt for the boy card and uh, Archival Vibrant Fuchsia for the girl card. Uh, so I already prepared the piece of paper collection. You can find all the measurements uh, on my blog post. The link is in the description below. 
and I start to build my cotton candy clouds um, from the bottom. Usually it's much much easier. So I'm just using both mask or sides and I um, you know place them in the angle. I coming back and I add more ink and uh, I basically play with the mask. So it's a lot of fun and uh, every card is unique. I have a lot of fun creating this card and I hope you will uh, try this technique too. As the card is very simple and easy to create, I decide to add the little bit of blink because as we know, uh, life is better with glitter. Uh, so I use the dry clear glue with the metal tip and I just trace the edges of my clouds. Uh, you don't need to worry about uh, to be, you know, precisely on the edge of every cloud. I just super simply uh, add the glue. Um, glue dries clear so nobody will uh, see how you apply it. And uh, then I sprinkle clear glitter. So... Um, yeah, I left it for a few minutes to dry completely and then I used the uh, soft brush the, just to brush all the small pieces, uh, you know, uh, which uh, stay on my paper and then I continue to create the card. I die-cutted the air balloon from the paper collection Actually, you have a bunch of elements out there to decorate your cards and albums. If you want to see how to create the balloon, how to ink it and uh, color it, I will add the um, Heartfelt Creation tutorial um, with Tender Moment collection in the description below. So. Um, I think if you die cut the balloon from the collection, you can simply adhere it to the card base uh, using the 3D foam. But uh, I used to add the additional layer of white cardstock, so I did that for some of my cards. I stamp baby boy sentiments using cobalt archival ink and using the same shade of ink I distressed the edges of my air balloon just to have a little bit more contrast. To decorate this card I decided to use this sweet elephant. Actually uh, you can see the difference between the uh, die-cutted element from the collection and the stamp element and I decide to modify this die cut so I just cut out the head and I made additional cut close to the ear and actually it creates the illusion when the small elephant looking from the basket so it's super cute to decorate the card I use classic Rhodes cling stamp set and matching dies and mold I used the Vibrant Fuchsia uh, Archival Ink to uh, create the roses for Baby Girl card and also the Cobalt Archival Ink to stamp the roses for Baby Boy cards. For the leaf, um, I use the Bamboo Leaf Memento Dye Ink I want to create this card as simple as possible, so I decide to use the same shade of ink I use for stamping. So uh, first I will start with Memento Bamboo Leaf uh, Dye Ink and uh, using the dauber I will um, add the ink to my image. And then I place my matching dies from Classic Rose die set and of course I run it through my die cutting machine. I die cut a bunch of the flowers and leaves. Um, you will need only the three, the same size die cuts to create the rows like that. But uh, usually I die cut more because I want to create uh, more flowers in the same time to have options. In this uh, classic rose uh, cling stamp set you will have five sizes of roses so it's up to you which one of them you choose to use on your final design. 
I ink the edges of my flower petals using the same shade of ink I used before to create the background to my card. Um, so this is the Cobalt Archival Ink for the Baby Boy card and Vibrant Fuchsia Archival Ink for Baby Girl card. So I will place all my flowers into 3D shaping mode. Uh, this is the unique product by Hartford Creation. Uh, it creates beautiful shape dimensional flowers just in seconds. So maybe if you don't have patience to shape the flowers or maybe you have problems uh, with hands, you can uh, invest in the molds because this is uh, uh, products for a life. Um, you use the molds uh, with your die cutting machine and actually um, you can find the list of the machines uh, which will work with the Hartford Creation molds uh, on Hartford Creation um, page. Uh, so I'm just simply try to place every single petal into the mold. As you can see it's a bunch of uh, spots there. And you can place up to three layers of these uh, die cuts from deluxe flower shaping paper. A uh, very important to use the molds is breaking the fibers inside the paper. So to do that, I will spritz my die cut uh, with water. To create centers for my roses, I will take one of the. Um, flower uh, die cuts and I simply cut out two uh, single uh, petals and I will create the center of my flower using these two petals. You can shape them using flower shaping kit or you can uh, simply modify the shape, shape of these two single petals using your fingers. So I'm placing one of the petals upside down and I fill it with a hot glue and then I will adhere the second single petal and this actually will create the center for my flower. So creating the flower center uh, for my rose was most difficult part and then I simply add more layers using hot glue gun and usually I offset each of the layer a little bit just to have more dimension. Roses are most difficult flowers to shape but I found that using this technique will speed the process of creating the flowers. If you never before shaped the classic rose, I highly recommend to start with the larger image from the set uh, because I found that it is much much easier for beginner to practice the shaping. As we all know, world is better with glitter on it, so I decide to glitter my leaves and the uh, flowers and I uh, simply apply dry clear glue on the edge of my flowers and on the edge of my leaves using this uh, awesome metal tip for uh, the glue bottles and then I sprinkle the flowers with um, clear glitter. Uh, I do the same with the leaves and actually I also add the bit of glue on this swirl uh, elements. So everything is shiny, sparkly, beautiful and uh, perfect to decorate our cotton candy cloud card. Okay, so this is the most exciting part with the samples. Uh, this is like more basic kind of card um, I create uh, on my Facebook live event with Hartford Creation products. If you uh, would like to join us, um, 
I have a Facebook live in every uh, Saturday and I will add the link in the description below. I didn't glitter the flower and I didn't glitter the leaf for this first sample. You can see the difference. In the second sample I glitter the flowers and I add additional small rows in the uh, air balloon basket and it's uh, beautiful and sparkly and shiny and I absolutely love it. I left the banner on the balloon so I can stamp the sentiment later. So you can see uh, these two samples created with kind of cloudy mask. For my next sample I use this negative mask, so uh, this mask which look like the um, uh, teeth marks on the sandwich and uh, actually I add the baby elephant and I add some elements uh, from the collection. For my final card I need to share the story because actually designing this card was a complete uh, accident. So I accidentally used two shades of ink and I think it could be a great idea to use even more. So two or three shades of blue or two or three shades of pink and I thought maybe I will create something different and I add the baby boy banner. I will show in the minute how to create it but uh, you can uh, see all the samples, you can see some of the backgrounds are more uh, delicate, some of the backgrounds are more like intense. I absolutely love this final sample with uh, these two shades of blue, it creates more dimensional look. Let me show you how I create the banner for this card. I just use the welcome baby uh, stamp and die and I uh, add additional layer of white card on the back. Um, so I start uh, just separating the letters from the baby uh, sign using the small scissors and then I just uh, want to smooth the letters a little bit so I cut just a uh, hair around and then I uh, distress the letters and also the boy sign using the same shade I used to create the roses so um, cobalt archival you can also use the mm, Vibrant Fuchsia if you uh, want to follow my tutorial and create the card for the girl. And so uh, I plan to adhere the letters using the 3D foam and uh, to be honest I need to cut uh, the 3D foam for teeny tiny pieces. I think um, it will be much much easier to use uh, the pieces from Derry's um, foam stripes. So I add the link for this product uh, on my blog post. I inked all the elements to finish my final project and adhere the sign and the banner to my balloon. So I will use this curvy line on the balloon uh, just as a guide to adhere my letters and uh, as I mentioned before I adhere the letters with a 3D foam. Then I add the sign boy on the bottom and I decorate the air balloon basket with leaves and the smallest roses. So this is my final samples and I hope you like it and you give it a try. If you do, please don't forget to uh, tag me so I can see your card. And uh, don't forget that we have the um, Christmas in July series start uh, on 1st of July and also um, next Facebook live event on Saturday. Uh, all the details, um, measurements uh, and um, product links you can find on my blog post and all the links are in the description below this video. See you soon, bye!